nuggets of messages from conference 2023 sessions from january 13 through to 15 entitled the power of an endless life in christ our theme scripture was taken from hebrews 7 verse 11 through to 17 and it reads if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe, of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses paid nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident, for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there ariseth another priest, who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. For he testified, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Endless life is not something that is far away. It is something we can experience now through Christ. When we speak of endless life, we can say everlasting or eternal life. Only the one true God gives eternal life. 1 John 5 verse 11 and 12 says, And this is the record, that God hath given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath the life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. God has successfully installed a priest on earth that has an endless life. This is said to be an endless priesthood. It is unchangeable as referenced in Hebrews 7 verse 24 that says, But this man, because he continueth forever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. This priesthood other sons are also called to. Jesus was born a son, but was made a priest. We then continue to verse 25 of the same chapter in Hebrews, which says, Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. When it says save to the uttermost, it means God will save, keep, and satisfy. Hebrews 7 verse 26 says, For such an high priest became us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. We learned that the Lord building his church also means that he is expanding his priesthood. For references, there is Romans 8 verse 29 and Hebrews 2 verse 10. We were also encouraged and urged not to carelessly call children or young persons the generation of vipers. Most times when Jesus spoke of generation of vipers, it was not towards them. For references, Matthew 3 verse 7, John 3 verse 7, Matthew 12 verse 34, and Matthew 23 verse 13. God wants us to see how God can use them in the kingdom. He said, to suffer the children to come unto me. Children has many of the qualities of the kingdom that we need to learn from. Matthew 18 verse 4 says, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. We need to have a childlike disposition. The kingdom of God is where we connect to endless life. God wants us to live in this endless life. We then continued with the Lord speaking to us about Christ being an eternal spirit. Christ is the eternal spirit that was in Jesus and that same spirit is joined to the spirit of those who are saved. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 17 But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. What is power? The power is to become a son of God. John 17 verse 2 says, As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. So God is raising up a nation of priests. 
The power of an endless life is the power to be holy. We have to be and stay plugged in to the endless life. Iniquity blocks the flow of the power of this endless life. It is good to be in tune to what God is saying. In the final session's message, we were enlightened on how God makes us priests. God wanted many sons who has endless life like his first son, Jesus. Jesus learned obedience. Jesus was a real priest we could touch. Hebrews 7 verse 26 tells us the nature of a priest. Jesus' making happened inside of the endless life. Jesus was on a sin-free growth path. We learned that a growth path is necessary spiritual experiences we need in order to mature. Luke 2 verse 52 says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Jesus also grew in understanding. We have to be steadfast. Our hearts must be established. We have to endure as good soldiers, tried, chosen, and faithful. We are urged to not be presumptuous, but be a people of conviction, humility, and love. We want to bless the Lord for speaking to us in this conference, and we are expectant to what he is going to say to us as he continues this series of the power of an endless life in Christ. Be blessed.